Hey guys, it's a History Nerd, and we're back with another exciting episode of uh, Panzer Cord Rust Off. There we go. Yeah, that's starting to flow. Um, things are going. Wouldn't necessarily say things are going well. We have, I guess, what could be considered the tertiary objective of neutralizing all of the airfields in the B sector. Um, that does not neutralize the Royal Air Force. As, um, is, you know, pretty, pretty freaking evident with all the bombers we got operating out here. Uh, but, you know, things aren't going all that badly. Um, I don't think, I think I'll leave you... I wish there was a way to pull units off, because I will just put you to bed and pretend like you're just not even in existence. Uh, not because I've been doing a bad job or anything, but just because I think... Um, that's better. <clears throat> These Italian submarines are doing something right. Uh, oh, what the hell? So I gotta get this Stuka, uh, like, way out the way. Arr! How does that even happen? Um. Because now, well, now that the RAF is able to operate on French soil, you know, things are... Now I remember how badly things have gone. We've lost a freaking tank down here. Uh, let's get you moving. And other units... Okay, let's get you up there. And we really do need to find some more shipping in this area. Um... <clears throat> We also have all these bombers to take care of, too, though, right? Like, let's start taking out the bombers. Because we need air superiority. And the way we get air superiority is obviously by destroying all the aircraft. Uh, not necessarily bombers. Okay, good. I was gonna freak out those guys weren't able to destroy these aircraft but I guess really for air superiority what we need to worry about is taking care of the fighters right taking care of the fighters and then uh, the obvious <clears throat> retaking all of these air bases from the dastardly resistance we're not going to be able to do much down there, but we got enough fighter craft that we should be able to do something down there soon. <clears throat> you need to replace your losses, and we get a full replacement, which is just great. Maybe I do want to repair this bomber, because we got... How much are you going to be? 67. Okay, we'll do it, because we still have ships to bomb. So we gotta, we gotta remember to bomb them. Now we got 10 turns still. Take care of all this junk. You need to replace your ammo, so let's just send you back and you can replace your ammo. You... Oh, it's so... Because he's like, he's a level 3 and a bit. <clears throat> Losing a full star of experience is not great. But, okay, so there's no threats. We'll leave you. We'll try and get some prestige next time. You are doing amazing work, little submarine. Oh, 
It couldn't last forever. We knew this. And the, the planes and your illustrious career. Well done, 69th Italian Submarine Squadron. Well, of course there were more, because the southern ports got destroyed. What the fuck? Like, I, and I do want to apologize for my language during this battle, but the French resistance is... You're not... Going into this mission, you're not even warned that the French resistance is a thing. Which is fine. <clears throat> I'm all for military surprises, but... I mean, in the briefing it even said, focus on your air... or focus on your air force. You're gonna be taking on the RAF. They're pretty freaking dangerous. And then... Countless, countless French infantry. Like, what do we have spawn in? Four up here? Three up here? And it's just been never-ending. There's no warning. They just show up. What am I going to do? Ah, <sighs> okay. Compose yourself. Compose yourself, history nerd. You got this. What we need are more fighters. That is a losing proposition, I understand. And I don't necessarily want to lose that fighter. <sighs> okay. Let's get you there. Do we take the bomber that's really gonna ruin our day? Yeah. <clears throat> and you guys are just going to get hit again, aren't you? Okay, replace your losses. We have no artillery left to assist. Are you going to be better against... Can I see? Are you going to be better against ships or people? Naval attack of two? I think. So you're obviously going to be better against people. When you hit. If you hit. Of course. That is not worth it. But I got no other way to weaken those guys. So. Uh, that's not good. But those guys aren't going to be able to help. <clears throat> we got nothing else up here. We got nothing down here, now that we've lost that U-boat. So how do we salvage this situation? Well, we've got no forces there anymore. Let's just pretend that they don't even exist, or that they never existed. <sighs> okay, what to do, what to do. Fighters first. Okay, that's that fighter squadron taken care of. We need... One! Come on! That's just... Okay, move there. Hopefully those guys can move in next turn. And that's pretty much it. 
What are we gonna do with you guys? You guys? You're really not good against navies. You're supposedly good against aircraft. But I've yet to see real hard evidence of that. Yeah, I'm definitely not seeing evidence of that. <clears throat> you guys can stay there. And I guess that's going to be it. For now, I really wish I had known that the French resistance would be so powerful that they, that they'd even make an appearance, let alone be this powerful. Um I probably would have deployed more of the army units that I had at the start. Because really, as it stands now, this is just ridiculous, and Germany's gonna wind up losing France in 1941 to the resistance. Not that I'm gonna say that that's, like, an impossibility. Surely, resistances and revolutions are an absolute possibility. But, uh, I don't think it was really possible in this sort of fashion. Are you effing kidding me? One damage! Oh, it feels like I'm going to have an aneurysm. Um, what the fuck? Fine. There, although you're just going to get killed. Because we can't move you. Okay. Concentrate on the bombers. Or the fucking boats. Yeah, that should have been clear to me. What do we got? A Spitfire, so that means at least three 109 squadrons. Uh, can we get them down a little less? Okay, so we should be able to do that. What are you? A Battle Mark II. You need fuel, so go refuel. Um, what else? You, I guess, can start strafing. Yeah, we'll go for the... Yeah, great. One damage. Lovely, that'll win us the war. There we go, okay, so it evens out. I'm less salty. Um, hmm. I just wanna... sink that. But I don't have, I don't have the fighter power to kill two squadrons of hurricanes. I also really don't have the fighter power to protect a Stuka. But let's see if we can do some damage. Um, one. Nothing. Where else are we? So, if we go here... Oh, that was a very good bombing run. I do appreciate all the sacrifices those planes made there. We can't hit that cruiser. So let's, like, not even think about that. Okay. Where's the other bomber? There it is. We can hit that guy, though. All right, that's looking good. And you'll stay there. Let's just cycle through my units. Just you two? Okay. Uh, 
I was expecting to lose that bomber. I'm glad they survived. <sighs> okay, breathe. Breathe. We're gonna need fuel. Okay, yeah, let's get involved in the fight first. And then back off for fuel. Next, we'll take this guy. And then we'll take this guy. We'll get this guy out of the fight. Hopefully there's no more French resistance units in the north. We got... Ah, uh, but... but uh, okay. <clears throat> well, you're not going to be much help there. So let's pull you up. We can get you to replace your losses. You're not going to be much help there, either. We'll replace your losses. You can go slaughter that unit there. Good. We'll get that airfield back. You're being protected by a stupid freaking dumb thing, the battle. So let's go see what kind of damage we can do to that. All right. Not enough. And you're rank. Oh, okay. Pull back. We'll have two units there. Have we got it now? Nope, they're just north of the airfield. That's fine. We can we can make a comeback. And we should at least get renowned for retaking objective cities, right? Uh, what do we got? You guys. My bombers. Uh, yeah, you go there. Bomb. Good. You go there. Bomb. Good. I don't know how many more ships are left, but there can't be too many more, right? Uh, you can move, but I think we'll just leave you. You'll have to refuel next turn. Okay, next turn. At this stage, it wouldn't surprise me if the British AI is just exclusively buying fighters. I think it's all they really need at the moment. Let's finish you off. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Let's finish you off. Hopefully. Okay. You. Replace your losses. You. Replace your losses. Yes. They're taking huge experience hits, and I don't really like it, but at this stage of the game, we need people in planes more than we need experienced people in planes. Come back around. You can get a shot in. Oh my god. And then retreat. Go there, hold, go there, hold. Okay. <clears throat> that's basically a turkey shoot because they can't shoot back. So that's good to do. We'll now get you back up to 
fill your tanks and your gun barrels back up. You, let's have it. Wow. Wow. I don't want I don't have much of a choice. You guys are back down to rookie bomber status now. Um Let's take this Stuka. Hopefully it can make it. Oh, but it's protected by a swordfish. Fine. How? How the hell are French resistance troops so well equipped and trained? I don't understand. I don't understand how that's how that's even possible. Can we kill that destroyer? No, we can get close. All right, next turn. I have a feeling we'll be redoing this mission. Which is fine, because at least I'll kind of know what to do and to have actual military units uh, for protection instead of listening to what the game suggested and focusing in on aircraft. Just kill it. Just kill it. Yay! <sighs> All right. We still have ships somewhere out here. Uh, you're still good to fly. So destroy that guy. And then there's probably more kicking around somewhere down here. So let's go see if we can find them. We'll find them. We'll find those ships. Uh, right, okay, but I mean, we're still so far away from having air superiority. One damage? Come on. Uh, what else have we got? Troops on the ground. We have one unit. Who are not going to be able to do much. I guess let's send them south. Try and recapture all of this shit. Just hit him. All right. So, uh, naval targets. We can take care of that. Good. We can probably weaken the cruiser. We can, okay, let's, let's clear the airspace first. with my slightly more damaged fighters. Perfect, okay. You'll go there, you'll go there, you'll go there. Beautiful. Now, I want to take you and bomb the ever-living shit out of those guys. Um... Yeah, that really doesn't matter. Might as well weaken you if we can. And we can actually do a fair amount of damage to that ship. I likes it. Um, what else we got? We might as well 
try to get those guys in operation. And then... What to do with the fighters? We'll put one here. And we'll put another one here. Just for some protection. Alright, next turn. <clears throat> we really should be hunting down the RAF, but... Okay. That's huge. It's not so much. We're going to lose this airfield. Uh, unless... No, that's on a ship, but we'll take that out. Uh, what else we got? You are way too damaged. Almost got him taken care of. Um, you need to resupply, so we'll send you to an airbase we have probably not going to lose. Um, we'll just keep you here. And that plane is just going to have to turn around soon anyway. Okay, good. Um, now what? We'll replace your losses. And I guess we'll get you up there. Are you effing kidding me? Fine, it's... Wow, you are severely damaged, but this is a turkey shoot. You should be able to shoot him down. There we go, okay. Good. Let's take you and just sort of follow that bomber around. And I think that's going to be it. Nope, not quite. Ah, trying to hide from us, are you? We got any other planes nearby? No. Oh, come on! <sighs> okay, you need to move, but where? Let's get some scouting. Hold on. Not at all what I wanted to do! Get out of here. Where's my infantry? Go and take that. I guess the resistance has moved? Or gone? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, well... You, you need to come back and refuel. Four! That is huge! We got any other fighter aircraft nearby? I want to keep that up. Um, okay, let's go and bomb that. Now, there's another ship down here somewhere. And I desperately need to find it. What else can we do? That looks to be about it. Okay, next turn. Can we get air superiority? Let's see, what do we need? Sink all ships in zone A, achieve air superiority in A and B. Only we've achieved air superiority anywhere near either. 
It's gonna be a bit of a a bit of a tough one. You have no bombs. So let's get you back. Where the hell is this last ship? That's that bomber taken care of. I don't care that that's where you move to. We'll recapture that airfield and... Try and open up enough vision over the English Channel. So that they can't have ships hiding anywhere. Uh, you should probably top up your fuel tanks. So should you. Um, all right, next turn. The last turn! <sighs> wow. On the last day, we get upgraded aircraft. Perfect timing. You said you'd get five damage, and you got one. I can't have you engage, because you'll crash. Where the hell is this last freaking ship? It's probably, like, right there. Or right there. Oh, there it is. Ugh. A disappointing result here, General. There's no chance in hell that Operation Sea Line will take place this year. The operation is postponed indefinitely. Furthermore, High Command has been looking for scapegoats. And most unfortunately, you are among them. You are dismissed. All right, well, uh, the next time we come back with Panzer Corps, we'll try that again and see if, um, see if we can get a better result. Anyway, guys, thumbs up if you have enjoyed this episode. Leave your comments, questions, concerns, thoughts, jokes, musings, what have you below. Thank you all very much for watching.